I don't intend to to um, to like quit stand up, but I do intend to become bigger than just stand up, and that's what I need to do right now. That's why I'm opening up this possibility, right? I need I need the next step not to be a default option. Right? Hello, everybody. Jared Foley here. This is the video I've been promising a bunch of my students uh, that would be coming out soon. This is my own, uh, this video is just about my own leap and my own personal experience and what's going to be happening in my own life uh, over these next maybe like 12 months or so, at least as far as uh, I've, I've planned out or as much as I can see from where I'm at right now. Um, if you have been on the site, you know that there's a lot of new content that has been coming out recently. Um, once Playfully Inappropriate was finished uh, towards December, actually, I, I finished it up just hours before, um, new, uh, before New Year's. Right? So it was New Year's Eve, and I finished it up just a few hours before the clock turned to 12 o'clock. And that was like my own personal goal. Like I needed that, that book to be finished within the year, even though it was ambiguous. Anyway, so that book, the, it, it was for sale, and it was about... Um, a part of my heart was not quite in it, which is why uh, even after like I put that new version out in uh, in early January, and then an updated version that was way better than anything that had come out before came out um, somewhere around like maybe early February maybe or so. Anyway, so there was this huge improvement to Playfully Inappropriate uh, about a month ago or so. And um, the reason that 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 so many ideas have been coming out recently is because I've been creating a vacuum in my life more and more. I've been creating more space that I can uh, allow myself to create. And also I've been blocking myself from doing the old patterns. And what I've done a lot in my career is I've looked at the science, what the science says about creativity, and I've just said, okay, if that is true, then what does that mean? What should I do? Right? So. My belief is that if you create a vacuum in your life and you refuse to fill it with crap, right? You refuse to, to like I, I block two hours out of my schedule and I refuse to, do, you know, to watch TV or to play games with that time or anything, right? I stop cluttering my mind. I, like I stopped, I was addicted to watching politics for a long time. Um, you know, watching that fight was a fun to watch in politics and I've removed myself from that as well. And I've just systematically tried to strip away all of the, the, um, all the old patterns and everything that I didn't, that, you know, wasn't, didn't feel like my highest calling. So in that vein, my wife and I were now living in Taiwan. My wife is Taiwanese, so that's a, the reason why we chose here. So we're committed to being here for about 12 months or so, which is a huge leap for me. Like this is crazy that I have kind of uh, cut myself off from my, my, you know, my, my favorite art form, like my favorite way of, of expressing my creativity is like writing comedy, performing comedy, uh, and, then, and then working directly with people. Like I love, I love doing that. But I also know that I have not been fully satisfied with my life as just a stand-up comedian, as just a stand-up comedy teacher. Like that, that hasn't been enough uh, for me lately. And that's why I've been systematically trying to create a new space. I want to, like if you read Playfully Inappropriate, you know that there's all these mechanics of comedy that I explore there that are, there's no reason why you can't take that exact same mechanic and apply it somewhere else. Right? And as the person that kind of invented comedic conflict, I feel like I need to know where the limit of that idea is. Right? I need to, um, I want to take it into so many different contexts, um, not just stand-up comedy. I love applying it to stand-up comedy. Every single week I work with students applying comedic conflict to their material. And it's absolutely tons of fun. I'm going to continue doing that. And actually that idea came to me because I cut off my normal possibility, right? That was not something that occurred to me that I could do uh, earlier, even though I could have done it earlier. So right, that new possibility came out, right? So I have these uh, like digital office hours, that idea came out. Uh, I've been doing these videos here. Um, if you look at the channel, I was not doing videos like this before because there was no time. There was no, I had no time to really relax and connect with myself 
which is exactly what I've been doing over these last few months. I've been refusing to fill my schedule with more, uh, with more achiever type goals, right? The usual me, my default setting is to say, if I haven't gotten what I want yet, I need to just work harder, right? And that is a good way of achieving a goal, but it's also a fantastic way of ending up exhausted, which is kind of what happened to me. Well, not really kind of, it is what happened to me. And I just kept doubling down and saying like, I can, I can, uh, if I have 20 extra minutes, I don't need to spend it with myself. I don't need to take a break. I need to uh, maybe edit a couple paragraphs of the book or something. And I've spent way too much of my adult life doing this. Now that I have committed to, to um, well, I'm in a situation where that is no longer a possibility, right? I don't have this, there's no default option anymore. Like I've basically cut, cut off every single default um, that, I, that I know of, right? So anything that I have to create has to be something that is new. And that is why I'm so excited about um, the direction, the general direction that I'm taking my, my personal life, but also that's gonna be creative stand-up as well. Like creative stand-up is gonna end up benefiting from, from all this time that I spent with myself, right? That's my belief. And actually I've already seen evidence of that. I've been getting the most amazing emails from people that have just been like, we've been connecting on, on, a, on a much deeper level than that I was not doing early on, right? And this is still early on in the process and it's only going to get better from here on out. So I'm very excited about all of the possibilities. Like there are um, so many things I, wanted, I want to uh, maybe come out with like a card game that's based on, on the mechanics of comedy, maybe like a, a, an iPad game or something like that. I have these other ideas where I want to uh, see if comedic conflict can actually create something amazing. And I'm really inspired to go into these areas where uh, I'm not sure what the answer is yet, because that is way more interesting to me than, than trying to find a slightly better way of saying the same thing, which is kind of the pattern that I feel like I was in um, maybe like a year ago or so, where it was constantly on this, uh, and I even talk about it in, in, uh, on the website, about being on this um, hedonic roller, not hedonic treadmill, where basically no matter how hard you try, you know, your, your happiness is gonna be, stay the same because you're, you're, I was constantly focused on trying to achieve the next thing. So that is the direction that my life is going. And the reason I'm making this announcement um, First off, it's just to be making sure that I am aligned with myself. Um, it's way easier to be me if I don't have to worry about um, having, a, uh, having two different versions of me, right? So a part of this is just like, even if nobody ever watches this video, it, part of this is just me dropping, dropping some baggage, right? So that I can just, my life can be even lighter than it is right now, right? So that is a huge part of it. The other part of it is that I want you guys to know that I am doing the work with you. Right, so you and I, we, we have different goals, right? If you're on the website, your goal is to become, uh, become a stand-up comedian, right? Now, that is not my goal right now. I've changed my goals to, to explore other possibilities. But you and I can connect on that we're both, we're both leaping into the unknown, right? We both are taking, or we're, we're taking off the mask. We're putting ourselves in a situation that is that is potentially vulnerable, right? And we're saying, I am going to trust myself to create something amazing, right? So I need you guys to know that I am, I, am, I don't need, but I want you guys to know that I am in this with you. Like when I say, um, show the audience your vulnerability, like I can't say that with, with any kind of authority if I'm not doing it as well, right? So that's why, that's the purpose of this video is just to make sure that, um, that I can feel aligned and that you guys know that uh, I'm not just going to be saying things that I think sound good. Um, they're gonna be coming from a much deeper place now that I've, I've cleared, I've been doing one hour of meditation a day, but this week I've bumped it up to two hours of meditation, which has been absolutely insane. But that clarity that is coming from, from that open space has been uh, amazing and I intend to use this next year to really explore this part of me that I have been denying because I was so focused on trying to um, write the best material or to, um, 
to perform or to come out with like the best stand-up comedy book, right? Like I've always had some goal that needed to be pursued right this very second. So I was never in a position where I felt like I could just sit down and, and like and just meditate and connect with myself and realize that some of the things that I, I do aren't really what my heart wants, right? So that is kind of my personal journey that I'm on right now. So that's all for this announcement. Maybe I'll make another one a little bit later on. I'm super excited about Creative Stand Up. Uh, creative Stand Up is not my only project, but it is certainly my favorite. Like I always come back to Creative Stand Up, no matter what I do um, as an other side project with creativity. Like I absolutely love the creative process. I love teaching about creativity in general and innovation You know, uh, outside of stand up comedy. I love that. Um, but no matter what I do, I always come back to creative stand-up because stand-up is just incredible and it's so much fun. And I love the idea that I can, I can play around and I can learn new things. I can learn new relationships about how, uh, how to write, how to perform, and I can share those with you guys. So I love the entire process that, um, that creative stand-up has offered me and that stand-up comedy performing has offered me. So I don't intend to, to, um, to like quit stand-up but I do intend to become bigger than just stand up. And that's what I need to do right now. That's why I'm opening up this possibility, right? I need, I need the next step not to be a default option, right? So that, that, is, that has been decided for me now, right? So I am in Taiwan for the next 12 months or so. That normal option is gone. Right? And I'm so excited because there, because that option's gone, I have to find another way. And that whatever that other way is, it's going to be incredible because I've committed to connecting with myself as well. Right? So I have a new connection with myself and a new, and a new but and as of right now, unknown direction that I'm taking uh, my, my creative life as well. All right, so that is why I'm so incredibly excited. I hope you guys stick around with Creative Stand Up and this channel. We're going to go so much deeper than uh, any of the other the past videos, any of the past my past work has gone. Um, you know, if, if 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 I went deep in in a book where I wasn't meditating for for a long time, where I was constantly stressed out and I was trying to juggle so much, and so many things at the same time, right? If you think anything else was deep already or or impactful, then stick around because things are only going to get way way better now. Anyway, so I love you guys very much. Uh, I appreciate all your support and. I want you guys to know that I, I'm, I'm in here with you, right? So when I say take off the mask, when I say open up a space and trust yourself that something is going to fill it, right? Trust yourself, throw away the joke book, all those rules that you have in your head, throw those away and trust yourself. I'm, I'm hoping that th that carries more weight now because you know that I believe in this, right? I am taking this leap. Right, so you know that my heart is in it as well. So I'm hoping that that gives you the rights or gives you the, the, the license to, to make the leap as well. Anyway, I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching.